Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I have an unboxing. So I just got this order in the mail and I thought it would be super fun to do an unboxing and a first impressions with you. Um, so this is a brand that I've never tried anything from called Camille Beckman. I do believe I've had people recommend it to me, but somehow I came across a picture of a vanilla fragrance from the brand and I went to the website immediately and everything is so affordable. I started adding some things to my cart. So this is the order. I did open the box, but I didn't open it. So this will be a true like unboxing first impressions. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I love tissue paper. Oh, they sent some samples. I did pay for this 100%. I ordered as just a normal customer. So this is, I'm not affiliated in any way. This is just an order I, I bought that I just wanted to share. So anyways, and it's really affordable. So if it's super good, I'm gonna be really happy that I'm able to, or that I was able to tell you about it. Um, okay, so anyways, the first thing I see in here is this here. It's a little packet and it says, and it says glycerin hand therapy oriental spice. Ooh, am I excited about that? Oriental spice sounds right up my alley. So, okay, and then the next thing I see here is, this is Camille Beckman Platinum Gold Imperial Imperial repair hand therapy lemongrass ver and sparkling grapefruit what is that green lemongrass <laughs> green lemongrass and sparkling grapefruit so that's what that looks like let's see if i can give it a sniff real quick Ooh. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. I love, love lemongrass, so. So I picked up a soap. I love soap. I'm such a sucker for bar soap or just soap in general. And this one just looked beautiful. Um, this is a glycerin soap and it is in the, the scent Violet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to smell this one until I open it up and like get it wet. But yeah, it was like $2, I think, so. Yeah, I was really excited to try that. And I do love glycerin soap. It's so moisturizing. I usually will wash twice. I'll wash with like a so a bar soap and then I'll use some kind of a body wash over it. So yeah, that'll be like a first wash. And I'm super excited to try it. Okay, and then the next things are two bottles of perfume. So, so the first one here is called French Vanilla. I'm glad that they shrink wrapped it to kind of minimize the chance of a leak. So all of these products are made in Idaho in the United States. And this is what sucked me in to try this. This is French Vanilla Eau de Parfum. I'm super, super excited to get my nose on this. This is two fluid ounces and I think I paid $24.50 for it. Yes, $24.50. And I am so excited because I adore anything vanilla. All right, so let's give this a little sniff here. And I haven't put any perfume on today, so I might end up wearing one of these. Ah, I love it. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's a beautiful creamy vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead, well, let me, I'm gonna smell the other one first before I decide. It smells a lot like alcohol right now, um, just because it hasn't dried down yet. So you do get a pretty big blast of alcohol. Um, here, let me just spray it on my hand and it's got a nice sprayer on it. Yeah, so we'll spray that on my hand and let it dry down some. I know I'm gonna love it though. It's a vanilla. It's just a, I wouldn't say it's like typical. Um, I've got a ton of vanillas in my collection and I don't think that I have anything that quite smells like this. But this is gonna be great to, to layer over my Chaco Musk oil or any kind of a vanilla based oil. Okay, as it dries down, it, it's got like a little bit of a vintage vibe. I'm definitely getting, ooh, I'm definitely getting like an 80s vintage vibe. Um, it almost reminds me a little bit of Chopard Casimir, or maybe a little bit of like the original, the vintage 
formulation of Vanilla Fields. It reminds me a little bit of, the, it's like that kind of a vanilla. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a very, very vintage vibe to it. I would not say that this is a safe vanilla to buy by any means. Um, I think that if you love just like a traditional, um, yeah, if you love just like a traditional like vanilla candle kind of vanilla, like a beautiful Play-Doh-y, um, like Tahoda or something like that, I don't think you would be happy with this. This is definitely... Yeah, it's definitely got a floral in there, and I will, of course, have the notes on the screen for you. It's definitely got a floral in there, and it's like a, it's a kind of vintage-y smelling floral. As it dries down, though, the floral kind of starts to take a back seat, and, and the creamy vanilla comes out. I love this. This is like, this is perfect for me. Um, if you enjoy fragrances like Tocad from Rocha, or if you enjoy Casimir from Chopard, I think you might like this one. Especially if you like Tocad, I think you, you would definitely like this. It, get, it definitely gives me Tocad kind of vibes. But this one's maybe a touch more floral. I don't know. I'm, I'm really digging it though. Yeah, I'm really liking it. And I think this will be beautiful layered over like my Nemat Vanilla Musk oil. <sighs> yes, it's beautiful. So anyways, that one is, sorry, I just, I went off with that one. Uh, that is French Vanilla Eau de Parfum from Camille Beckman. That's, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it, the paper strip does not do it justice. Um, this one definitely needs to be on skin. Beautiful, kind of vintage leaning vanilla. Oof, I like that one. Okay, this next one, this bottle was on super sale for like $10 and I got sucked in. I don't know why I do it, but I just did. I was like, well, I'm ordering anyways. What's another $10? <laughs> okay, this one is called Midnight Monarch. Again, let me go ahead and get this um, plastic off. Okay, so this is what this one lo looks like. It's called Midnight Monarch. And this one I think is supposed to be kind of like a floral patchouli. I do know it's got like a patchouli in the base. So I'm excited to smell this one. I don't know, when I was reading the notes, I was getting um, like Jimmy Choo vibes. Definitely like a Jimmy Choo kind of fragrance. Like just the original Jimmy Choo which to me is such a good fruit chuli. This is definitely flowers and patchouli. If you like fruit chulis, I think you would really like this. Um, oh, so my French vanilla is already fading away, so I will probably have to definitely layer over lotion and oil. This is nice. This is going to be one of those fragrances that I think a lot of other people will enjoy. If you like a, if you like patchouli, if you like a fruit chuli, I think you would like it. Yeah, it's definitely a really pretty, well blended floral and patchouli. It's really nice. I like this way better than Jimmy Choo. To me, this is much smoother. And I think that's what I'm liking about it is it's smooth. It's not, sometimes fruit chulies can be, I don't know, jarring almost. Like I'm not the biggest fan of Jimmy Choo. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. Anytime I wear it, other people love it so much. It's just not my favorite. This is really, really nice. And I think it's because this is smooth and well blended. Oh, it's pretty, it's warm. I'm getting a lot of warmth. Wow, that was definitely worth $10. It is really, really beautiful, Ugh, really beautiful. It's like the fruits and the florals and the patchouli have all just blended together so well on my skin. It's just created the most beautiful very slightly sweet, warm floral and patchouli. 
I love this. So that was this was definitely a successful blind buy. Um, I love a vintage smelling vanilla and I love this. This is such a beautiful warm fragrance. I am digging it and I'm sure I'm going to love the violet bar soap. Um, ugh, I love violet anything and the little samples that they sent. So yeah, that was a really, really successful order. I'm super happy with both of these. So anyways, guys, those are a couple of fragrances that I picked up from Camille Beckman. Um, yeah, I want to say that somebody at some point has referred me to or has mentioned them to me, but I don't remember exactly when and oh my gosh, I love the Monarch one. Yeah, the vanilla one is all but gone. Um, it's dead. It's oh my gosh. It almost smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. Once it's in the deep, deep dry down, it almost smells like a soft Cabbage Patch doll smell. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, and that Monarch one, that Midnight Monarch one is beautiful. It reminds me of, somehow it reminds me of like warm summer nights. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to stop gushing about them. I'm in love with those fragrances. I'm so happy I picked them up. So anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.